Welcome back, guys. It's Drew for Dynamic Menace. And uh, we're playing some more Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. I've been kind of, kind of, kind of swamped a little bit. Um, but we should be back on schedule really soon. Uh, I think I mentioned it last episode. We went to go see Smile 2. Um, I had been interested in going to see Venom. Uh, but then I heard the reviews and I was like, you know what? I don't know if this is for me. I don't know. I, I have a weird relationship. I'm sure I talked about it before. I have a weird relationship with the, the Venom movies. Um, but having seen the first and then even more so the second one, I had this feeling like, eh, they're kind of doing their own thing. And they're they're fun at least the first one was um i don't really remember the second one if i'm being honest uh but that's probably a statement right there you know that it was kind of forgettable um but venom's interesting to me because of how he relates to spider-man you know uh and hey making these movies without spider-man is it's a little weird, you know, and B, if you know all the behind the scenes, uh, nonsense with Sony, just really trying to, ugh, damn it, really trying to just milk this cash cow, Spider-Man, you know, and just make just straight up business decisions instead of making good decisions for these characters. It's just kind of like, ugh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to spend my money or support what, what you guys are doing, you know? I'm closer to my friends. I can sense it. No turning back now. All right. Um. All right, we got a dungeon. I don't know, but... They're saying this is the last dance, right? I'm assuming that means... This is the end of these Venom movies. I doubt Sony's gonna stop making like uh, their Spider-Man adjacent films, right? They're gonna keep making their little weird uh, Spider-Man adjacent movies, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, bird. Uh oh, oh, oh. Let me see. You got a small key. Uh there we go. Uh I think I saw recently that they are I think Tom Holland said they are working on uh, Spider-Man 4 or they're they're getting ready to start filming and stuff like that. So uh, We just need like the there this guy Okay Huh Huh What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Huh? Um, it's been a few days. What tools and equipment do I oh shit. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Thing outside the box, Drew. And we got the map. Um, I'm really hoping that Marvel gets back on track. I really like the last Spider-Man. I feel like the Spider-Man movies are are pretty solid. Um, even the ones that aren't aren't beloved, like they're still entertaining to me. But that could just be my bias, you know. Like 
getting to see him swing around and do anything on screen like is like jingling keys in front of my face and I'm like entertained, you know? Uh, uh, can I use my own bombs? Uh, all right, come on. Uh, my fish. All right, how about take that? Uh, okay. You still want the smoke? Oh, yes. Those bomb chews. Damn it. Okay. Still hucking bombs at me, huh? Okay, asshole. Think you're cute? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Damn it. Where is he at? Where is he going? Uh-uh. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, you don't. No, you don't. So is this... Is this technically Dark Link? Is that what they're... Is that how they're identifying him? We got bombs now, like our own bombs, not just the bomb fish. Uh, what if there's anything in here that's like worth bombing? Uh, I think I, the reason I have Spider-Man on the brain, besides the fact that the Venom movies came out and it seems like people are kind of talking about it and how disappointed they are in it. Um, is Rob and I are both probably going to play Spider-Man 2. Uh, the PS5 Spider-Man 2, not the old school PS2 version of the Sam Raimi Spider-Man 2 games. Oh shit, hold on, let me take some. Let me, let me get some to eat real quick. Uh, I need fireproof, right? Ah, what that? All right, all right, all right. Ah, come on. Uh, all right, what do we do? How about, um, uh, uh, ice wizard robe. I only have time for one. Ooh, or enough. I only have enough juice for one. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. All right. Moving right along. Do -ka -do -do -ka -do. You learned the fire, Wizrobe Echo. All right. Thanks, Ice Wizrobe. Want to pat like a pat on the head? That'll do, pig. All right, got another key. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, we will be playing uh, Spider-Man 2, the more recent Spider-Man 2. Uh, we are going to edit out uh, most of Mary Jane's uh, missions and her participation in the story. Um, just because I hated everything about her in this game. Right. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't like the way they. It really felt like they were trying to shoehorn the fact, or not the fact. Uh, their belief that Mary Jane should be more involved as an active combatant, and that's just. I think mean, that's kind of bullshit for. For not even just what she's been portrayed as traditional. Oh shit! Uh, traditionally. Um, I think even in their own continuity, like the last game, she was a reporter, and like her stealth missions made sense. 
they were boring, but they still made sense for who and what she was. Uh, but in Spider-Man 2, like they juice her way, way up. Hold on. Uh, thought something was in, in the, the lava. Um, yeah, they juice her way, way up in Spider-Man 2. Like they give her a taser and some horseshit backstory where she, uh, trained with Silver Sable and now she's a fucking ass kicking machine, right? And she's taking out like Craven's men, like no big deal. And I was just like, this kind of reeks of you guys having like some type of weird agenda where you want us to believe that girls can do anything, you know? And I am totally not the guy that's going to like shit on you guys for having like a strong female in your story. But Spider-Man has like a bunch of strong female characters, you know? Mary Jane just traditionally wasn't one of them. And in your own continuity, she wasn't really uh, a badass. Like you're trying to sell me on her being now in this in this version for some reason. Oh shit. I was tired. Alright. Hold on. I don't know. And then plus, like I was already like a little wary about everything. But then hearing like the dude uh who okay. Hearing the dude who was like one of the devs like say that he's heard the complaints about Mary Jane missions being boring. And saying he doesn't give a shit and he's still gonna fucking you decide to double down. Kinda like, dude, you heard we don't like this shit and you're gonna fucking double down. Like, why? We're we're the consumers. You're making a product for us, right? Why? I don't get it. Why are you putting some stuff in there that you know we're gonna fucking hate or we're telling you we don't like? And juicing it up even more. Dialing it up to 11. All right, let's see. Uh, what's this guy's name? Volvagia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, shit. What do I do? How do I deal with this guy? Uh, wind cannon? Will the wind cannon blow their stuff back at him? Nope. All right, let me see. What else do we do? What do we have around here? Uh, can I bat this shit back at him? So I'm gonna... Uh... Let me see. Nope. Uh... Oh, fuck. No, what do I do? Uh... Huh. Whoops. Uh... Alright, what do I have? Let me see. Maybe whiz robe. Get him whiz robe. Shit. All right. All right. Whiz robe. All right. Whiz robe's doing a little bit of damage. Whiz robe doesn't give a fuck. All right. Whiz robe's doing the damn thing. All right, where you at, Volvagia? Am I saying his name right? Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm blowing it with the platform. I'm trying to look and see where he's at and what he's doing. All right, get him. Uh, come on. Where you at? Where you at? Oh. Got him. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Oh. Come on. Come on. Wizard Robe. You got him. You got him. Uh. Shit. Ugh. I think we can do this. This isn't super tough. Uh, uh, 
All right, wizard robes got my back. I think we can kind of we can deal with this. This is super tough. Got him. Got him. Oh shit. Mm. Come on. You know, fly out of there and then go to his next little weird location. Oh shit. I keep thinking I can just walk off the ledge and go right into those little uh windy tunnel things. Oh shit. Get him. Wizard robe, attack. Come on, come on, come on. I think I'm doing very, very minimal damage. I think I got enough to go into sword fighter form though, right? Okay. All right, wizard robe. All right. Oh, can I shoot him? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on. Uh, ooh. Hi. Right. Uh, do I have anything that will... Uh, heal... Some of my sword fighter magic. Where you at? Where you at? Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Got him. Got him. Uh, okay, okay. Alright. Whoa. Okay. Alright. Shit. Uh damn it. Uh uh Nappies. Shit. Woohoo! Alright. Alright. I think we're alright. We're doing alright. Alright. Wizard Robe. Is that it? Did we get him? Wizard Robe did the trick. What's up, guys? It's party time, boys. We power up try a little bit. Do I get some new abilities? Does the cost go down on some of my... my constructs? Hoping we get a little more story before we wrap up this episode. A friend shared some of their power with me. Ah. Uh. I feel like I can do even more now. Yep. Uh, are any of these really? Crawltula. Mmm. Alright. Five mic crystals. Alright. Is it one of the other... Yeah, it's one of the other goddesses, I think. Priestess, your power has freed this land, which was swallowed by nothingness. I am the goddess Din, one of the three who created your world. I should have known that. She was the one with fire, right? You have demonstrated true power. Thus, I grant my sanction unto you. And then I think Ferora was the one, the last one, right? Because I think we did. What was it? Din. 
Nehru and for right? We got Din Sanction. Priestess, I will tell you of the one who has torn this land asunder with the rifts. Before the creation of the skies and the lands, there was a void, a vast nothingness. In the void, some things would begin taking form, only to be devoured by the one who dwelt there. In the name of this one is Null. Null desired the world in its entirety and consumed all life indiscriminately. Is this before Skyward Sword? We three goddesses could not abide this and created the skies and the lands to contain Null. It seems like it might be before Skyward Sword, right? All the while, Null continued creating rifts, working ceaselessly to return the world to a void. And so he brought forth the tries to dissipate the rifts, thus keeping the balance. Ah. One sanction remains. Remember this, your power will one day be your salvation. Okay. No, our enemy has a name now. This is the one who has been making all the rifts. And the goddess has created my friends and me in order to oppose Null. Hmm. There's not really anything else to do in the still world for now. So let's get back to your world, Zelda. All right. So we got a little more story. We know who the big bad is. I wonder if he has any association to Ganon. Like... He did conjure a version of Ganon, right? At the beginning of the game. You got a heart container. A maximum number of hearts is increasing. They've been failed. Uh, but we're going to wrap up this episode, guys. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, leave me a like. It really helps out our, our little channel. Helps us grow. Uh, and subscribe. Uh, we don't really play by YouTube's guidelines. Uh, so we're probably never going to be monetized. So you're never going to have to watch commercials. Right? No ads. Zelda, you're incredible. The giant rift, it's gone. Hopefully everyone is back now too. Let's go see. Yeah, I really rock with the Gorons. I like them in every game pretty much. Cute. <laughs> And you get that warm, fuzzy feeling because you help people. <laughs> wow, that's the first time I've been the guy tossed in the air. I'm just so glad that everyone's back. Zelda, try. Before I met you, I actually regretted becoming chief. It felt like a mistake. But I don't think it was. I'm just finding my own way of doing things. I know you'll have to go mend more rifts soon, but I'm going to keep leading my people here. Thank you so much for all of your help. Oh. Dustin, come over here, will you? <laughs> Sounds like I'm needed. Oh. Come in. Oh. Come back to Goron City whenever you like. You're always welcome here. All right, what's Tri's two cents? Dustin's changed a lot from when we met him. He had so much trouble deciding things before. Now he's confident and his Friends are smiling. I guess he's happy to be relied on. I'm glad we mended the Elden Volcano Rift and we received a sanction from the Goddess Din. This just leaves the Farron Wetlands Rift. Only one left. Let's get going, Zelda. 
All right. That's going to do it for us. Uh, we'll pick this up next time. Uh, see ya. Bye.